T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And the wind off is off the map, so it's a test. Go World New Region. Vehicle pitching ground range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 35 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East, carrying the Worldview Legion satellites. In just a few seconds, we'll throttle Power the engine. Telemetry nominal. There's confirmation that engine telemetry is nominal. We are preparing to throttle the engines down in preparation for max Q, or the period of maximum vehicle aerodynamic supersonic. pressure on the vehicle. And with that call out, we know that Falcon 9 is moving faster than the speed of sound. During ascent, we tilt the engines. There's the call out for max Q. Now the technical term for that engine tilt is called gimbling. That turns the rocket horizontally in what we call a gravity turn. The vehicle is still going up, but now we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. The rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and reach orbit. You can keep an eye on that stage one telemetry in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Now we have five events coming up in quick succession, and we should hear all of these called out by mission control, starting with MECO, then stage separation, SES-1, first stage boost back burn, and fairing separation. During MECO, we'll shut down all nine M1D engines on the first stage. Stage separation is when the first and second stages of Falcon separate from one another. And second engine start one is when we will light the MVAC engine on board the second stage for the first time. Shortly after that, we should also see those two fairing halves jettisoned. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Stage one boost back startup. Fairing separation confirmed. So hopefully there you heard and saw those five events happening back to back, which again were MECO, stage separation, SES-1, first stage boost back burn begin, and fairing separation. Of course, we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today once they fall back to Earth with our recovery vessel, Go Beyond. Stage one boost back shutdown. There's confirmation that the first stage has ended its boost back burn. Really great views on your screen right now, too. We are just about T plus three and a half minutes into today's mission. And just about three minutes from now, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn begin. Now to start the entry burn, we will relight three of the M1D engines, starting with the center engine, known as E9, followed shortly after by the E1 and E5 engines. This is similar to pumping the brakes to slow down, and the vehicle will Both pass vehicles back. Are on nominal trajectories. Confirmation there, we're on a nominal trajectory. Now we need to slow down to reduce re-entry forces, which then helps us to recover and reuse the first stage. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving really fast. This causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface. That soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, the soot builds up a little more on the outside of the rocket. Oftentimes, prior to launch, you can see the soot from prior flights on the first stage. continuing to get really beautiful views from up in space. 
And of course, you can continue to track both the stage one and stage two telemetry in the bottom corners of your screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, you've got views of our grid fins with the Earth in the background. And on the right-hand side, you see our MVAC engine burning on board the second stage. On board the second stage are Maxar's first of two Worldview Legion satellites. Those satellites will replenish a portion of Maxar's existing constellation to expand capacity. Again, in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you can track that stage one telemetry as it continues to decrease its altitude on its way back to Earth. And in the bottom right-hand corner, you can watch stage two's ascent to orbit. The grid fins that you can see on your screen right now are the primary mechanical mechanism by which we steer the first stage on its re-entry. We're expecting entry burn to begin in just about 15 seconds. Stage one entry burn startup. There's confirmation of entry burn startup. Great view of that on your screen as well. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical scientific research. Stage one entry burn shutdown. With confirmation of entry burn shutdown, the Falcon 9 first stage supporting today's mission has now performed that entry burn 20 times. The Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level. These achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust each during ascent and descent. At liftoff, Falcon both 9's first stage, there's confirmation that both the first and second stage are still on nominal trajectories. The stage one transonic. Confirmation there that stage one is transonic. Stage one landing burn. Stage two FDS has saved. Right now we're standing by for landing a Falcon back on landing zone four at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Landing like deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Confirmation there that of the 20th launch and landing for this first stage. This is the third booster, booster to complete 20 flights. And this landing marks SpaceX's 302nd recovery of an orbital class rocket, including <laughs> Meanwhile, up in space, we're continuing to get beautiful views from our second stage. Again, today's two Worldview Legion satellites will replace a portion of Maxar's existing constellation, joining over 95 Maxar-built satellites already in orbit. Maxar combines frequent monitoring over key areas of change with scalable analytics to deliver near real-time information to their customers. The Worldview Legion satellites on board stage two today are the beginning of a new generation of satellite made to image the Earth more frequently and at higher resolution than ever before. Worldview Legion will support multiple kinds of data collection, allowing one platform to support both monitoring stage and mapping missions. Guidance.
Now we are standing by for confirmation of second engine cutoff one, expected in just about 10 seconds. MVAC shutdown. There's confirmation of MVAC shutdown. 